is going on everyone? My name is Dan and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S2. But first of all I want to give a little notice here, I'm going to tell you guys I just bought a new camera which is the Sony DSCWX500. So if this video looks and sounds different than what you're used to that could be why? Because I decided to not use a phone anymore. I was filming my previous videos with the Samsung Galaxy K Zoom. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So starting off with the box. Here we have the original Samsung Galaxy S2 box. It gives us some information like it has a dual core 1.2 GHz processor and an 8 megapixel autofocus camera and a 2 megapixel front facing camera, full HD video recording playback, multi codec defex XFID, Bluetooth 3.0 height speed profile, GPS and geotag and DLNA and a 1650 mAh battery. Now let's go ahead and open the box. And inside the box, in this occasion, we don't have one Galaxy S2. No, we have two Galaxy S2. Since I have two of these, I decided to uh, show them both. I have um, two other white ones, probably gonna sell them anyways. But if you're interested in uh, located in the Netherlands, let me know, because uh, you might be able to do a deal with that. So it has unused headphones, mine. Uh, it has the other head the other earbuds here, like the different sizes. So the earbuds have never been used apparently. So um, brand new earbuds for the Galaxy S2. We got some manual here. And uh, that's about it. So let me go ahead and put this away. So up until recording this video, I actually figured out that there are three colors of the original S2. White, black and pink. And the pink one, you can see it here edited in. This is, uh, I just figured out this exists. I didn't know that prior, but now I do. As you can see, these are the black and the white S2. The white one is completely smooth, and the black one has a little bit of a texture on the back, as you can tell. So, as always with these type of videos, I want to go ahead and take a look at the phones and behind the battery door. So let's go ahead and take a look behind the battery door. So here we have the SIM card slot, which is regular SIM and SD card slot. Here's a little antenna. We got the battery here. As you can see, that's a 1650 milliamp hour battery. So yeah, that's the standard battery. Now that 1650 milliamp hour battery is good for having 710 hours of standby time on 2G and up to 610 hours on 3G. Not sure if they're gonna be able to do that at this point since they're pretty old already. The talk time however is 18 hours and 20 minutes on 2G and only 8 hours and 40 minutes on 3G. Compared to the original Galaxy S, this display is slightly bigger. We have a 4.3 inch Super AMOLED Plus display with 480 by 800 pixels and the pixel density is 217 ppi. The dimension of the Galaxy S2 is 125.3 by 66.1 by 8.5 millimeters or that's 4.93 by 2.60 by 0.33 inches and it only weighs 116 grams or 4.09 ounces so that's not really heavy, pretty lightweight and compact phone to be honest. Now let's go ahead and boot these phones up. That's slightly inconvenient since I charged that phone as well. So uh, yeah, otherwise we're just gonna keep it with one device. Just gonna boot it up real quick since the two have different boot screens. I think the other battery might be broken or something. Yeah, and as you can see, the boot screen on the white one is a lot different than the one on the black one. So the Samsung Galaxy S2 was an incredible phone back in the day, especially with its 1.2 GHz quad-core processor and 1 GB of RAM. So the phone itself, it's pretty smooth. I really like and I love how the S2 looks. It's one of my favorite Samsung phones, to be honest. It looks so nice and the camera and everything like... This one had a flash light too, instead of having no flash at all since that's what happened on the other, uh, on the original one. So the front-facing camera up here is a 2 megapixel camera 
On the back we have an 8 megapixel camera. It has a loudspeaker on the back here. It has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It has a couple microphones. And it's just a decent phone. Like back in the day I, I, I still like this thing. It was a really nice device and it still is. Unfortunately you can't really use them anymore. Of course being a smartphone you had access to the market, the Android market to be precise, which doesn't work here. It should be able to be updated to the Play Store, but since this phone is running on a really old version of Android, let's go ahead and take a look. It's running on 2.3.6, I was thinking it was actually running an older version than that even. It's running on gingerbread as you can see here is the Easter egg. So yeah, this is um, pretty cool honestly, since yeah, it's got the easter egg, it's running on gingerbread, as you can see, here's the entire build. What makes the S2 stand out, especially in the era of 2011, since this phone was released on April 2011, is that the display is such a colorful thing. So if we go ahead and go to the wallpaper gallery on this thing, you can clearly tell that there are a lot of colors on this screen. The screen on the Galaxy S2 is incredible. And I'm gonna have to say it, it still is. Like in 2011, this was incredible. Now, still, I mean, yeah, the camera, here we go. It's uh, eight megapixel. It's, you know, it's kind of like obsolete looking, but honestly, it's not even that bad. I think that if you would start and use this thing for like videos and photos, I mean, maybe people wouldn't even notice that you're doing it on an S2, but I wouldn't recommend it necessarily, but yeah. It is, it is there, it's nice. So when it comes to the connection of the device, it has GSM and HSPA, 2G and 3G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, it has optional NFC, I'm not sure if this thing has NFC. We have a VPN for some reason, we can tether Wi-Fi, we have USB utilities even, keys over Wi-Fi, I have more options than I remember an S2 having, so I might actually have a strange build of gingerbread on here that yeah i don't know it doesn't really come with much standard apps on this one some of them were bloated but this i'm not sure i don't think we got that much on here we got a youtube app polaris office memo instant messenger fm radio task manager news and weather samsung apps a calculator mini diary video maker photo editor downloads places voice search voice talk voice recorder, voice command, navigation, tasks, latitude, talk, keys, air, all share, videos, my files, game hub, readers hub, social hub, settings, market or play store, google search, gallery, gmail, email, maps, camera, internet, music player, calendar and a clock. That's about it for what this phone has. It has a lot of standard apps honestly but um of course, to have the world of Android open for you, you would definitely need a Play Store. You would probably need to have a custom ROM to have that phone still work nowadays. And yeah, comparing this to my current main, it is, uh, it's, it's rather small. And this is just a regular old iPhone 13 Pro. And even compared to that, the S2 is nowadays quite small. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that was my little video about the Samsung Galaxy S2. I would like to thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more content in the future. Thank you for watching this video and see you all later. Peace out.